Hello everybody, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this, which is, looks just like a wall with three, um, four stripes on it, but it is actually a four combination lock thing. Anyways, I got this from the idea of FB Disco's map bomb diffuse, which it had like five wires, and you need to have the correct combination of them to pass. Anyways. The thing, how this works, is really simple. There is, there's a torch on the back of each of each of the middle block block of the stripe, and that will turn this one on. And depending on if you'd like this, like to be just like that, or 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 like taken away, um, yeah, the pistons are set like so. Anyways, how to set something up like this? Really simple. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, you set up stripes like so. Make sure they're about like three blocks apart, or two. Is it two blocks apart or three blocks? I don't care. Anyways, so yeah, they're four. And then you place t a torch on the back of each of them. And then you just extend. All of them are extended, and then put a block that can move by piston on, on the end of each of them. So if you'd like this one, like, if you'd like one to be extended still, you just um, uh, mine under and then place redstone torch, so easy as that. And then for this, you just need a, um, like, one right there if you'd like it to be mined. So, okay, so and then there, and then that, you'll do that like so. So, now once you've got those, you need, depending on how, like, I'm a, how close it is, you need to have it like this. One, two, three, and then. One, two, three, and then one, two. So, this is how mine looks so far. Um, then, basically, what you do is you go over and do. Oh, I can do short, shorter. Shadow. Shadow. And it's okay. Um, There. Um. And something like that. And then you just again you go like this. Something like that. Um. Anyways, so you just go like this. Like so, make sure. No, no, the other way around. You get just for um, compactity or something. Just be more com compact and more efficient. Anyways, so you just gotta go over like that and make another AND gate that goes on, and then make sure that is inverted signal like so um and then the one two three or so but like right here so you do like that no and like that and then make sure that's the block of the wall that you're doing yeah, okay, that's good. I need to move it all over one more block. You know how I know that? It's because I wouldn't like it to collide with the redstone right there. Okay, so now once we got that done, go four blocks like that, and two blocks like that. Um, hmm. Um, I have to move it one 
more block over, yay. Sorry. Um, anyways. Do like this, like this, this. And then, do like, and make sure that both of these are on four ticks. Um, and you go like that, like so, and now you just, um, darn it, okay. Um, now we need to connect these with this, which is really simple. You just connect them, and it's that basic. Anyways, so, and then that's basically, you just need to add in some repeaters. And, and voila. Voila. Darn it. I need to, um, uh, um, and then you just need to, um, do that. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really going crazy. Or do I just know? So then you just, blunt, um, I, um, I put it in with the wall, and then just remember, your, your um, uh, code, and then, yeah, I'll just, um, uh, check back a few once you've done the wall. I am back, and it, the wall is now, or, well, the combination lock is now completed. So, like, how to do it is, you just mine the correct blocks in your, um, uh, in your pattern, and it's really, and, and then that's basically all to it. And, so, and I'm just gonna, um, darn it. And get out of F1. No, darn it, it's the wrong one. Let's see, and I I just forgot my code. <laughs> yes, the maker of this tutorial just forgot his code. <laughs> what the? Okay, um. Okay, um, and then that is the, the tutorial is finished and. Bon appetit and bye. Let's see. Yeah, anyways, so bye.